Hello everyone. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you the eigenvalues and eigenvector of a matrix and I have considered a third order matrix. So uh, before starting the process, let us recall that when we say the eigenvalues and eigenvector, we have to solve this system of equation. This is A minus lambda i. This is a matrix and this x is a vector and we are getting a null vector that is 0. So here uh, A is given to us. This is the given matrix. Identity matrix we plug in the 3 by 3 here. Lambda is something which we don't know and we are calling this lambda as a eigenvalues and this x is also unknown and we are going to um, solve it in a next step. So first we will solve the eigen values and then we will solve for the vector and this is also null matrix so in all this format we have these two unknown and a and i are given so even if you uh, if you plug in this value so this system can look like that if you talk about this part here you are having four here you are having minus five here minus two two three four minus two two one this is my a part minus lambda times so identity matrix is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so here uh, this portion is our matrix part this side and we have an x is a vector since it is a 3 by 3 matrix so x has a three components we can write down x1 x2 x3 or i, I can write on x y z so that is our choice how we can write and obviously the right side is a null matrix of the same model the same model so the for for finding the eigenvalues we have to find the characteristic equation and characteristic equation is a determinant of this part this part this part i mean to say we will find out this part and find its determinant so let's see what is a characteristic equation characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda i equals to 0 so oh, if we write down what we will get we are going to solve this for format this is i have already written here so we are going to uh, solve this 4 minus lambda because you can see here uh, for only only diagonal elements are minus lambda minus lambda minus lambda so when you solve these two matrix you will get this format you will get the 4 minus lambda 2 minus 2 this only diagonal element will be minus lambda minus lambda minus lambda whatever is your so our task is to find this equation this is a determinant and you know how to open the determinant in 3 by 3 uh, matrix or determinant so you open by first row or open by second row but in this case as i have shared with you that i am going to discuss this technique as short as possible so that we can find out the answer quickly so the i'll i'll not able i'm not going to first solve this determinant i'm giving you a shortcut formula what is the shortcut formula for for characteristic equation for this equation for characteristic equation the shortcut formula is that you will write down lambda q because it, when it is a 3 by 3 determinant, we have a cubic equation in lambda. So the first entry is lambda q with coefficient 1. There is a minus sign and you have a coefficient of lambda square. It is coefficient of lambda square is sum, sum of diagonal elements. Now what are the diagonal elements? They are also known as, I can call it as a trace means you will add the diagonal element not this one the original matrix this matrix so this is a coefficient of lambda square and what we are going to do for coefficient of lambda we will find again a sum but this time sum of minors you can write minors or you can write a cofactor one and the same thing because minor of diagonal in both side diagonals elements are used in first you just add the diagonal in second you add the minor of the diagonal and the last is determinant of that matrix so let's recall lambda q this you, you are observing alternate signs are there first term is positive second term in a formula you put minus and this answer 
third you have a plus with the answer and fourth you have a minus with the determinant so it is plus minus plus minus diagonal entry sum of the minor of the diagonal element so let's see uh, as per my current question what what are the answers here i am going to plug in here, here i made a gap so when you will find out the sum of the diagonal elements 4 plus 3 is 7 and plus 1 is 8 so this is a 7 over here as 8 over here so i'll get 8 here this answer comes out to be 8 now next term is uh, sum of the minor of the diagonal elements so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find out the entries over here let us see what is a diagonal uh, what is a minor of this four Th these are the entry this is the first one this is the second a22 two, two, and the three three so i'm going to find out the minor so you leave this row and leave this column and find out the debt of it so what is the debt of this four entry uh, it is uh, three means this number these these four numbers three four two one I'll find out the debt. Next is what is a minor of 3. So you leave this middle row and a middle column and you will get a, a debt 4 minus 2 this corner points. So minus 2 1. And the last one is what is a minor of this last one. So you leave this last column and this last row and you find out these 4 numbers. What are those 4 number? 4 minus 5 2 3. And let's find out the minor. So it is 3 minus 8, which is comes out to be minus 5. And this is 4 minus 4. This is comes out to be 0. And here it is 12 plus 10. And this com comes out to be 22. I have to add them. I have to add all these numbers. So when you add 22 minus 5 comes out to be 17. So this number I am going to plug in over here. So I got it 17. And similarly when you will solve, I want you solve determinant on your own. And what is the determinant? I have already calculated. I will share with you answer. My determinant comes out to be 10 here. So even you can use if, you, if scientific calculators are allowed for uh, calculation, you can directly find out the determinant of that with the help of scientific calculator. So you can plug in over 10. So just see where I got it. I got these uh, this characteristic equation lambda cube minus 8 lambda square plus 17 lambda minus 10 equals to 0. Now next step is you can find out the uh, eigenvalues means solution of this uh, characteristic equations. So I, I got this it's, it's 5 here. I got this answer that comes out to be 1, 2 and 5 in this case in my current question this is 1, 2, 5 and uh, uh, let me quickly see that if you are not uh, using this formula so what will be the scenario you are you are going to uh, solve this you are going to open just see that sometimes there is a calculation error while opening and multiplying because there are so many lambdas and so many entries are there so probability of getting wrong calculation is there so shortcut method sometimes is very helpful so you are getting one to five in same over here and then next step is if you are finding a characteristic uh, solution of that characteristic equation i'll quickly solve if you are using calculator you can directly plug in the values of the equation cubic equation in a scientific calculator you will find out the roots but if you are not having that and you want to find out the solutions quickly what you can do is uh, find out the one root by trial hit and trial like when i put plug in the one value here so i get 1 minus 8 plus 17 minus 10 equals to 0 and it means i got that this is my root and uh, if it is not working you try the other one like 1 minus 1 something like that so once you are done with this root your next step is to find out the other factor will not plug in you will use the synthetic division in a synthetic division what you need to do is write down this number here this one root which you got you write here and all the coefficient of the uh, given equation in a increasing order you write here like 1 minus 8 17 and minus 10 i have written the step is write down this number as it is like i am writing this one as it is multiply 
and right here so 1 into 1 is 1 add this you get minus 7 now again 1 into minus 7 right here it is minus 7 add you are getting 10 again multiply right here add you are getting 0 and this is a remainder and your current quadratic formula is it is lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 10 equals to 0 which is lambda minus 5 and lambda minus 2 is equals to 0. So one root already I have gotten lambda is equals to 1 already done and two roots more are gotten 2 and 5. So 1, 2 and 5 are the three roots. Now let's come to the main part. Once one stage is done the stage number one was to find out the eigen values. Now to find the eigen vector we are going to solve the same system which I started in the beginning. Here uh, we have a three eigen uh, values and one by one we will solve in this whole system when I will plug in the lambda value like I have plugged in the first value one so I got four minus one is three here three minus one is two here one minus one is zero and rest of the entries are same. Now I am I am going to use again a shortcut technique. What is that technique? You have to pick any two equation. There are three uh, three uh, rows. Take any two, but make sure that they should not be a similar equation. Means you should not get a zero zero in all the uh, determinant. So what is the step? Take any two different equations. Like I am taking in my current question these two because they are not similar. So I will write down the two equations. The step number one is write the two equation like 3x, 2y minus 2z and second equation is minus 5x plus 2y plus 2z equals to 0. Then what is the next step? Write down x here equals to minus y here equals to z and below that we have to find our determinant. I am using this Cramer's rule here in this homogeneous system. I am writing x second is opposite sign plus minus plus so when i am writing x i will not use the x coefficient i will only use the y coefficients this is 2 this is 2 this is minus 2 this is 2 now for y i will leave the y and write x and z it is 3 it is minus 5 it is minus 2 it is 2 and here for z i will not use z i will use the x and y so this is 2 2 and when i will solve what will I get here? I am getting in this case, I am getting here 4 plus 4. Here I am getting 6 minus 10. Here I am getting 6 plus 10. So this is 8. This was minus value. And this is minus 6. Uh, sorry, minus 4. And here I am getting 16. So minus minus will get cancelled. So I got x upon 8 y upon 4 and z upon 16. So when you are writing the first vector you can write down 8, 4, 16 and since uh, 4 is a common factor you can divide all the entries by that you are getting 2, 1 and 4 here. So 4, 4, 2 are and 4, 1 are, 4, 4 are. So this is my first factor. Now what you need to do is you have to, I have already simplified when you do for second 2 you get these terms here it is, uh, the entry was 4, so you are getting 4 minus 2. This will change when 3 minus 2 is 1 and you are having a 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Here also I have taken second and first and second equation and I have simplified. I want you to solve these two vectors on your own and I will show you the answers before winding up my video. In this vector, I got this 6, 6, 12 which is 1, 1, 2 and when I solve for lambda is equals to 3 I, I again took the first and second equation because they were not similar and when I have solved I got the answer 0, 12, 12 and uh, 12 is a common factor so I get a 0, 1, 1. I hope you have understood. Thank you.